In this interactive whiteboard we're going to look at combining resistors in parallel and I've written down the theory and we're going to use resistor R1 which is this one here is going to be our 47k resistor and R2 is going to be our 22k resistor and we're going to work out what the combined value of those are when we put them in parallel and we're going to need a calculator. So what we do is we take R1 which is 47,000 and on the Windows calculator you can use the 1 divide by button and that gives us a really strange looking number. We're going to add on 22,000 1 over equals and we get as our halfway result that 1 over RT is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 5. That's what it says on the calculator. Now to get a value of RT we just do 1 divided by 6.67 times 10 to the minus 5. So I press the 1 over button on my calculator and I come up with an answer of 14,985. So what that means is if I take a single resistor and I want to make it exactly the same as my pair of resistors, it has to have a value of 15k because 14,985 ohms is approximately 15 kilo ohms. Brilliant. Let's look at a harder example. Here's another example get our calculator back. Now we've got three resistors and we have to deal with them in pairs so we're going to start off by looking at this pair on their own first. So we we'll do these first. Okay so here we go we do 1 over RT is equal to 1 divided by 100 plus 1 divided by 40 which is equal to so we'll clear off our previous calculation. We'll do 100, 1 over, plus 40, 1 over, equals 0 0.035. And a lot of people make the mistake of saying that is the value of RT, but it's not. That's 1 divided by RT. So RT, the total, is 1 divided by 0 0.035, which is equal to press the 1 over button, 28.6 ohms so that's our first part of our result so if we redraw this circuit up here like this, a nice little arrow redraw this circuit up here we get twenty-eight point six ohms now it's in series with our 50 ohm resistor and series resistors are very easy and we should know that in series RT is just simply R1 plus R2 so we'll take this one here to be R1 this one here to be R2 and therefore RT is equal to 28.6 plus 50 which is 78.6 ohms which is approximately 80 ohms and therefore if I wanted to take my three resistors and reduce them down to just one resistor I could just have an 80 ohm resistor all of this is equivalent to just this